Hi, I'm Norman A. Hood, financial advisor and host of the Exit Plan Show. I interview America's top advisors, like today's guest, Larry Hughes of the Hughes Group in Oklahoma City. We help business owners enjoy more personal freedom, grow their companies faster, and transition ownership seamlessly when the time comes. Welcome Norman, to the show. Thank you very much, Norman. Yeah, pleasure to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Hey, we're going to start out. I'm just going to have you tell our audience a little bit about your education and then your career path up till now. Okay. Well, I, I went to uh, what at one time was Central State Teachers College because my goal in life was to be a baseball coach and, uh -huh. uh, and a high school teacher. Uh -huh. And uh, that is, uh, it's a, now it's a UCO, University of Central Oklahoma, uh -huh. uh, in uh, Edmond, Oklahoma. Uh -huh. And... Uh, and then uh, uh, I, uh, my early career was with a, uh, 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 an office machine dealership, mm -hmm. uh, and I was in sales there, met my wife, uh, uh, who was a, uh, a bank examiner. She was the first female bank examiner in Oklahoma, oh, really? examining national banks, graduated from Baylor, from Texas, moved here, uh -huh. and uh, elevated the... Uh, uh, IQ of both states. Uh, so, uh, Becky uh, is uh, a partner with me in my business. She okay. values businesses. She's a senior appraiser with the ASA, American Society of Appraisers, mm -hmm. and uh, and so uh, we've been doing. We started this in 1982. Mm -hmm. uh, Becky and I in 1975 put together the little funds we had, bought ourselves our own business, mm -hmm. and we kept that until 82. I sold that myself, mm -hmm. and then I began selling, helping people sell their businesses. Mm -hmm. Interesting. We just met. Uh, Mark Robertson had great things to say about you. So how do you think people like Mark that have known you a long time, how do you think they would describe you personally? Well, I think they would describe me as diligent, mm -hmm. uh, persistent, mm -hmm. and uh, working really to, to uh, meet the goals and objectives of my clients. Okay, that's a good, those are good characteristics. What uh, does the Hughes Group do? Can you tell okay. us all the services they offer? You bet. You bet. Our, you know what we we work with successful business owners that are preparing to sell their business, preparing to retire mm -hmm. or go on to a different vocation, mm -hmm. uh, travel mm -hmm. maybe. And what we do is is help them sell that business for top value, mm -hmm. so they can retire in style. Okay. Some of those business owners aren't ready to sell today. Right. So we help them with an exit planning process. When we what we do is help them establish a value today, mm -hmm. and uh, determine if they sold it for that, how long would their money last? Okay. Sometimes they're ready to go, and sometimes they need a few years. Okay. And we help them through that process. Okay. So you help to help them grow the business that's to what, the point that's it needs right. to be. And if I can't help them, then I bring a team in. Okay. Uh, that can do that. Okay. And what do you think differentiates you from some of the other companies that are do similar things? Well, I, I think uh, I think three things. Uh, one is uh, we work really hard to help people determine if now is really the right time to sell. Okay. Because a lot of people just throw their hands up and they call me or someone like me mm -hmm. and they want to sell. Mm -hmm. But the, but the key thing is to determine is is that the right th is that the right time for them to sell mm -hmm. to get maximum value out of their business. Mm -hmm. So what we do first is look at what their value is mm -hmm. and then we have a frank conversation with them and say if we if we could sell it for this mm -hmm. is that enough money to last you for the rest of your life? Mm -hmm. And and if it is then we move forward with them but we don't move forward till we determine that. Okay. Where do you like to work best in the in, in in the arena of certain size of businesses or or just uh, if you could pick one of all the things you do for the use group if you could pick one thing that you just would like to do just that all the time is there one thing close sales close uh, sales okay well yes. that's that I'm sure yeah. your clients like to hear that too and, and Norman what I mean really by that is that uh, when when somebody agrees to they they retain us or hire us to do uh, to sell their business mm -hmm. then the most fun part of my job job is uh, to uh, to have a successful transaction mm -hmm. that allows my client at closing mm -hmm. uh, to reflect on the years that he's been in the business
business, mm -hmm. to look forward then to a new life, mm -hmm. and that he has all the funds necessary to do that. And that gives me probably the greatest satisfaction mm -hmm. of anything that I do. Well, you may have answered my next question is where to get the energy to, to do what you're doing. Well, you know, it's exciting to work with business owners. Mm -hmm. uh, they're you know, entrepreneurial type people are a different breed of cat. That's true. As they say. Yep. And they and those and they have energy and they have their creative people. Mm -hmm. uh, they're they're also risk takers. Mm -hmm. And and I like those kinds of people. They're uh, they didn't worry about uh, what may happen uh, uh, tomorrow. They started a business. Mm -hmm. probably with not a lot of capital right and, and if they did they got it from the bank mm -hmm. and so they were in debt mm -hmm. and they they took a risk they took a chance and then they built a mm -hmm. really successful business mm -hmm. and those are those are fun people so I wake up every day energized by my clients mm -hmm. that I work with okay last question we try to help business owners either enjoy a little more personal freedom, get a little time off, grow their company faster, transition ownership to maybe a third party or an insider. And then more recently, one other thing that we've, this comes up a lot is business owners, sometimes when they retire, they feel like they need to redefine their purpose because they spent their entire life in the company. They the, that, that identity sometimes they put behind, but they're not quite sure what to do next. If you could give a business owner a tip in any of the four areas, that I just mentioned, what would you think would be the best tip you could give them? Well, I, I think there are three things that, that I would tell any owner, mm -hmm. and, and that is, number one, uh, to, to, to make themselves invisible in their business. In other words, okay. find somebody to replace them mm -hmm. because that's how they get maximum value. Mm -hmm. Because the, the buyers out there that will pay the, the best prices for the businesses mm -hmm. are, are people that may not uh, be day-to-day -day operators. Right. And so to make themselves invisible, mm -hmm. uh, to, to, to make certain that their cash flow, that they have good, consistent cash flow and that it's growing. Mm -hmm. and, this, and the third thing, and which is the most important, I believe, is that those business owners that love the game of golf mm -hmm. to find exclusive clubs that they can take me to go play in. <laughs> okay. Uh, That's really good uh, advice. <laughs> okay, well, thanks a lot. That was a good right. interview. That was Larry Hughes with the Hughes Group. For more information about Larry, please take a look at the show notes on this episode at our website. Thank you.